All right, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel, The Law with Lawson. And this is actually my first YouTube video that I'm making. I got some other ones that I uploaded. I downloaded from Facebook, uploaded on my YouTube channel. But this is the first one I'm making specifically for my YouTube channel. So I just got back from court uh, because I'm a Hawaii News Now uh, legal expert for the Kealoha case. And today what happened, uh, for those in Hawaii, for those that, that are not in Hawaii, um, just look up Louis K. Aloha, Catherine K. Aloha, Crooks, Prison, Google those words, um, ex-prosecutor, ex-chief of police for Honolulu, and you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll catch up quick. But anyway, so what happened today was, you know, they all got convicted for ripping off grandma. That trial's over with it. Jury convicted uh, Louis and Cat and two other officers. The next trial, remember, they were indicted for bank fraud. Right, Louie and Kat was going to the bank getting out all these mortgages and loans because they were just living above their means. And so the second indictment was set for trial, I believe in January. And so Louie and Kat decided to waive their right to a federal jury. And so, you know, let me explain. Everybody has a Sixth Amendment right, right, to a jury trial when you are facing a felony charge in federal court or any charge criminal in federal court. And that's the Sixth Amendment constitutional right to a jury trial. And the only way that you can give up that right is if you knowingly and you just stand up there and, and you give a voluntary and knowing waiver, uh, and it has to be an intelligently made decision, to waive your right to a jury trial and have the judge decide your fate. Now, this is the worst case a lawyer and I ever seen. I mean, uh, for Louie. Now, this guy, this guy, this Rustin Barbie, this is the same guy who had nerve this guy had nerve to, to write my, because I've been commenting on the case. I'm the legal expert, you know, I mean, I, and I'm going to try way more cases than Barbie. So it ain't like I'm sitting up here as a law professor pontificating from a book, you know, reading from a book and, and all that. No, I've been in the trenches, man. And then won some cases that he, anyway, don't, man, anyway. And so, you know, I commented over the years about his client. So this guy gets mad because I'm smoking his client. You know, I'm just telling the truth. They, the press asked me a question, and they, I tell the truth. And, and so Rustin Barbie is a lawyer. He didn't like that. So he writes to dean of uni my law school, William S. Richardson School of Law. Right? I teach criminal law here for those that, that are on the mainland. And I also am the co-director of the Hawaii Innocence Project. So this guy writes to the law school and says that I should be fired. Fired for commenting on his case because I haven't been given his client the presumption of innocence. Dude's a crook, man. He's a police and chief. They set up an innocent man. Hell no, I ain't pre presuming you're innocent. All right, so let me get back to it. So this is so this is Louis's lawyer. This is why I'm telling you this. So this ain't personal, man. I mean, it's the worst case of lawyer I've ever seen, and even Louis deserves a, 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 a defense. He has a constitutional right to effective assistance of counsel. And this guy, Rustin Barbie, is just ineffective. And so here's what he does. So Kat waives her right to a jury. Now Kat's been convicted and she knows she's gone. And so in federal court, if you plead guilty, you get points off for what they call acceptance of responsibility. And the more points you have in federal court, the more time you're going to do. It's a point system. It's called the Federal Sentencing Guidelines. And so the goal is, of the lawyer is to try to get the client the lowest amount of points possible. Now here, Kat wasn't being offered a plea by the government. And so she's between a rock and a hard place. She's like, look, why would I plead guilty as charged and I ain't getting nothing out the deal? But I can't get points off for accepting responsibility unless I plead guilty. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to waive my right to a jury. I'm going to take the stand. And I'm going to end my trial. And I'm going to accept responsibility by telling the judge, right, that I did all this. I, Catherine Kellogg, I did all this. Louis did. With Louis signing this stuff, he didn't know. My guy, he didn't know what he was signing. Therefore, Your Honor, I'm responsible for all the bank mortgage fraud. Even though Louis was driving nice cars and good suits and stuff like that, he didn't know what he was signing. When he signed, you know, they got over those documents. Uh, uh, before you sign your loan documents, like your taxes, right? You certify what you're putting on here is true, right? So don't come back. That's the, that, that language on there for a reason, man. That language on there. So you can't come back and say, hey, I know. 
And so uh, I'm laughing because I'm just I can't wait to see this defense. So anyway, uh, and so and so that's going to be her defense that Louis didn't know. Now Louis's lawyer waves a jury too. Right, and Louis like right, twelve people. Right, and again in our system, if one person look, you got to have twelve jurors convict you beyond a reasonable doubt. If one person says, you know what, I ain't, I, I'm not there. I, I just believe for whatever reason the government hasn't proven their case beyond a reasonable doubt, so I'm voting not guilty. If one person does that, and the other eleven are saying guilty, you got a hung jury. And then if it's not guilty, you got to have a unanimous verdict too. All 12 have to agree. If 11 people are saying not guilty and one person talking about guilty, it's a hung jury. And so you have a better chance of convincing 12 people, at least one out of the 12, if you're looing, that, hey, man, look, I work. I'm the chief of police. My wife's a lawyer. She settles cases on the side. She has her own civil practice. She makes a lot of money, has the potential to make a lot of money. We've been married for you know up ten years. I believed her when she brought in the documents and said, "Honey, I filled out all the forms. All you got to do is sign." I signed, and I'm off running my you know going back to the police station to set somebody else up to send us in. I didn't know anything about these documents, right? That's Louis' defense. Louis' defense also can be, "Hey, look, she she fooled her grandma." She bamboozled with her uncle. She closer to them than she was ever. She's been knowing them longer than me. Hell, she was cheating on me with the fire chief and some other guy. I mean, look, man, I'm, I'm a victim just like the rest of everybody else. Now I'm caught up in here. It's easy to convince one or 12 of those jurors, or all 12, that Louis's not guilty. Right? But that ain't what his lawyer did. His lawyer said, look, I want the judge to decide this. And here's the problem. See, in order, if Cat's going to take the stand and say Louie didn't know it, that means that the judge has to believe Cat's telling the truth. He has to say Cat K. Aloha is credible. Now, here's a woman, God bless her, here's a woman that done fooled her grandma, fooled her uncle, had some lady named Allison Lee Wong who, do, she just, look, she created a person to be a notary of the, the, the and, and notarizing all these documents, something writing letters to the Senate to get her confirmed in, in, in a position for the uh, 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 the state and the environmental agency, right? And so Alice Lee Wong, the cat created her, right? Made her real, writing emails to people, you know, and talk. Man, I'm telling you, it was crazy, right? I sat through the whole trial, and so in order for the judge. To say Louis not guilty, and all the evidence is coming from Cat, he's got to say I believe Cat Kaloha. And and then the problem is they the flam flam couple, the ex chief of police and his high ranking prosecutor flam flam. Right, that's all. And so and but then that's not it. I'm not done. And and so listen, when you go, let's say you want to go to trial with a federal judge. The way of your jury. When the judge gets done with the trial, he has to or she has to write out a big document explaining what evidence was in the record, what evidence was presented on the witness stand that supports my finding that Louis K. Aloha knew beyond a reasonable doubt that the doc that the evidence and the, 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 the numbers in the uh, mortgage documents were wrong. What evidence was put forward, right? And the judge has to write that out. He just can't come out where well, I just had a hunch. He's the judge. They had to find the evidence. You know that people get on the stand and testify and all that. Here's it, right? Here's the evidence. It was this witness, these documents. This is the evidence where I find beyond a reasonable doubt that Louis K. knowingly signed this document, knowing it was false, guilty. Well, his his lawyer, Rustin Barbie, waived. Those fines and said, Judge, you don't even have to do that. You can just say guilty. Now, that, the whole reason to waive a jury trial, it, look, I waived jury trial before, right, in cases to where you think a jurors may get too emotional, right, and, and, and not really understand the, the burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. See, you know, my daddy used to come home, and we, we were four of us, right, and so. 
the lamp would be broke and everybody, I don't know, I didn't do it. And our whole thought as kids was, Dad, you can't whoop me because you ain't got no proof. <laughs> and Dad was like, no, all four of y'all getting your ass whooped. Right? That way I know I got somebody. And see, jurors can do that too. Jurors can sit back and say, well, you know what? There's not a lot of evidence here, but I, you know, I hate to see uh, uh, him get away with it. Right? No, I'm not convinced. Yet. Maybe he didn't know. I, you know, and see, that's not the burden of proof. The burden of proof is you have to be convinced beyond a reason. In other words, you could believe that I did it, but you you're not convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. Here's an example. You you may watch the, the news tonight, and the weatherman may say to you, "Hey, look, it's going to rain tomorrow." Right? And you take your umbrella because you believe him. Now, let me ask you this. Would you uh, uh, bet your house on it? Would you be willing to bet your house that it's going to rain tomorrow because you heard the weatherman say, you're like, no. So, yeah, it's not that you don't believe the weatherman. It's just I don't believe him beyond a reasonable doubt. Right? Because there's no verdict in the United States. You can be charged with a crime in the United States. There's no verdict of innocent. It's either guilty or not guilty. And not guilty has many meanings. And why in the hell am I talking about this now? I don't know. But, but the point is, jurors may not understand that. And the judge gets it. The judge may say, you know what, I believe Louis did it. As I sit here, you know, I just got, but, but, government, you haven't proven the case beyond a reasonable doubt. But again, the, and so that's why you would want to do it. But the problem is, one, you waive those findings, and two, in order for the judge to do that, you got to believe Kat. The judge has to say, hey, she's credible, and she just ain't. And see, you're the chief of police. You got a college education and some background in criminal justice. You signed more than one mortgage. Now, you know how many mortgages you got on your house. Don't come in here with all that, right? So, hey, man, like I said, um, worst case of lawyer I've ever seen. Now, this is my opinion. So, Rustin, you know, this is my legal expert opinion. So, yeah, somebody can forward this video to him. And so, here's, my, here's another opinion, Rustin. See, when you when you get appointed to 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 to, uh, to be somebody's lawyer, see, I was a private defense lawyer. I was not appointed. You know, I, to me, uh, I was not a public defender. No offense against any PDs, and no offense against any any lawyers that get appointed. But I was a private uh, criminal defense attorney, and, and that was intentional. Uh, you know, I would go down, you know, as a black lawyer, I would go down to court, man, and, and you would hear people talk about, uh, you know, I got to go get me a white lawyer or a Jewish lawyer. Even on black folks would be saying that kind of stuff. And so I intentionally said, you know what, I'm going to be a private lawyer, and if you come to me, you know, it ain't because some judge made me go there. So, but that was personal. So, I, you know, public defenders do a great job, so do appointed lawyers. But here's the problem. When you get a, a, as appointed lawyer, not a public defender because that's what they do 24-7, but appointed lawyers know they only getting paid minimum wage and lawyer fees, right? And so it, a jury trial would take maybe three months, could take two months. But a bench trial, trying it to a judge, could take three or four days. And so if I'm in court for two months, on your case where I'm making minimum wage by the court appointment. That means I can't be on in courtrooms and other courtrooms and in my office making real money. And so in order for me to get back to making some money, one way to do that is I can waive your right to a jury. I can convince you that you should waive your right to a jury. Now I ain't gonna tell you it's cause I ain't gonna be, I don't wanna sit in court with your ass for the next two months going broke. What I'm gonna tell you is, man, this is a good deal. This is the best thing to happen. I mean, I don't know what they said, but I'm just telling you, again, the question is, now I'm not saying Rustam did this. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying to me, in a case like this, I got a better chance of convincing 12, so the question becomes like, why wait a jury? How, how does that help Louis? I, I, it helps Kat, because Kat's saying, look, man, I can't, I'm not gonna plead guilty and you didn't offer me no deal. I ain't stupid. I'm a criminal, but I ain't dumb. So what I can do is I can tell the judge, you know what, judge? I did accept responsibility. I took the stand. I told y'all I did it at my trial, and Louis didn't. So I accept the responsibility. So for Cat, it works. For Louis, it don't. 
But, you know, if Louis want to go down on it, like I said, he should have done that in the first trial. If I would have been trying the first case, I would have been like, hey, I would have been pointing right at her, like, hey, look here, man. A firefighter, I ain't know nothing about him, man. She's sleeping with him, too. And then got him, him being a firefighter, whatever the hell he was, uh, to come to the grand jury line. Now, he indicted. She bamboozled grandma. She set up her uncle. Hell, I believed her when she kept telling me the uncle was doing all this. So when I, when I was involved in this and pointing him out and saying he did it, I wasn't trying to set him up. I believe the man did it because that's who she was telling me. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm a victim of, of Cat Kaylor. I'm her husband, but I'm still a victim. Right? And the cheating with the uh, ex-police officer and the fire, that's, that, that's, that, right? I can't take it. So, anyway. Um, hey, I'm about to do another video on some of the stuff that's going on. And I can't believe the Attorney General actually subpoenaed or tried to subpoena uh, Hawaiian Airlines for giving, uh, for letting people transfer miles to those that wanted to go over to the mountain and stand with the protectors. Man, I'm telling y'all, they, this, uh, well, that's another video. All right, uh, hey, like, like my channel, subscribe to it, or like the video, I think that's what you got to say. Like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all um, within the next week or so with, the, with another video.